So, so far this is all I have. I have the table here as you can see, the mirror and the tree over there. Um, I'm going to build the chairs right now. So before I get any further into today's video, I do want to give a big thank you to Herness for partnering with me on today's video. So they did send me over four room chairs that I'm going to add in here just to complete the table. Well, I need two more chairs, but I have four for now to build those chairs real quick. So before I add the chairs, you guys saw me put in the table, the rug, the mirror, and the plant yesterday. So I'm just going to build the chairs and we're going to get the room just sorted. chair looks like it's like a velvet material very soft ah oh, this is so soft and then it has this pattern back here so this is how the legs come they're all bubble wrapped they're taped together and they also have all the screws and stuff that you'll need so this is a close-up of one of the legs they are this brass color they have labels so you know which one goes where so this is one of the back legs of course in the package you do get your assembly instructions close-up of what the chairs look like under the table I love the color I love how soft they feel I love the texture I just love how simple they are and they just add the perfect touch to this room so so far this is the overview of the dining room I am missing two chairs for the ends of the table. Like I like how everything is positioned right now. I do want to get like a sideboard for this corner right here. So hopefully I can get something that's not too long where I can put like my wine, wine glasses, stuff like that on. Um, so this is the table. You guys did see me working on refinishing or restaining this table. It's not the color that I wanted, but it is very close. So I do love how the table turned out. Um, yeah, so I just have a few decor pieces that I'm going to add to the table. I do plan to get a runner sometime soon, but I just haven't decided on what color I want the runner to be or what material the aesthetic runner. So I haven't gotten it yet. I did get some curtains for these windows, but I don't love them. So I'm still deciding on whether or not I'm going to keep them. I want long sheer, I want like long sheer um, curtains that are flowy and full. And the ones I have, 
they're long, they're sheer, but they're not flowy and full the way I imagined. So we're going to see. is looking like for right now i feel like a runner on the table will make it look more complete also i have two more of these but there's no point in putting it when i don't have the tables i'm not tables the chairs i'm also not too sure about this in the center so we'll play around with a couple things and see how i like them i also i'm not sure if i'll keep this clear vase i feel like i want something like wooden or like a ceramic color so we'll see what i end up picking um but yeah just a runner getting curtains up and i feel like that will be all for this room let me know what you guys think down below um yeah thank you to herness for partnering with me on today's video So this is the progress that I've made so far. Not a lot, but it's coming. So this is the end goal. This is what we want it to look like. This is what it looks like with just like a first um, sand, like a first whatever, you get it. And then it's coming in. So this is the stain that we use for the table. I just got it from Walmart. And then one of these, I think this was like 97 cents. And then a pack of brushes. Yeah, so the pack is like a dollar something, like a dollar 50 something, I don't remember. Some of these, this was like 97 cents. So overall, this table makeover was probably like $50. This is what the table is looking like right now. We're probably on like coat number four for the stain on the table. And it got to a color that I actually like. So we're just letting it dry and that's going to be the color. It's more yellow than I wanted, but it's fine. And then the legs are down here, just drying. This is also from Walmart. And I went for like a satin clear finish. I didn't want it to be too glossy. Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen. So I'm about to make the best ever oven baked chicken, right? So I have a whole chicken and I just looked up a recipe on YouTube. So these are all the seasonings they said that I'm going to need. So there's salt, garlic, onion, chicken seasoning, Italian seasoning, thyme, ground cumin, kill seasoning, black pepper, paprika. Um, I'm missing something, but I'm going to, I feel like this is enough seasoning. It's going to have to work. And over here in the sink, I just have the chicken defrosting. So I'm about to do that real quick and show you guys what I come up with. chicken is all done it looks very crispy well seasoned it's delicious so for the sides i have some corn going and i'm just going to top the corn with some butter and then i have some cauliflower and i just season it with some creole seasoning and then i'm just going to add some butter to that as well as soon as it is done steaming a very healthy dinner option um, I really love cauliflower and I love corn as well, but I feel like I'm going to put the chicken back in there. I feel like it could be done a little bit more. 
So I think I'm going to put it back in there. I just finished eating and I got some packages in. So I want to show you guys. So excited because I have this collab coming up with Hernes. Um, yeah, so I got these two boxes and each one of them has two chairs so i'm so excited for how this uh, dining room transformation is going to turn out yep excited so that is the brand